Welcome back to Avernum, where we're about to enter the throne room. Surely we're gonna get ambushed in here. I cannot see it any other way, so we're gonna really crank up our our buffs. At last, you have reached the throne room of Sithis, the nerve center of the barbarian slithes Arakai assault against Avernum. It looks exactly as you expected. This is not a place for calm ceremony. There are instruments of torture and a clear area in the center for the fighting of duels. Blood is spilled in here every day, and nobody bothers to mop it up. And yet, there is one thing you expected to find here that is noticeably absent. Guards. The throne room is calm and still. It seems to be waiting for you to step through the open gate and issue your challenge. Yeah, so it'll probably like, unleash stuff through the gates. As you reach the center of the throne room, the portaculus slams, slams shut behind you. As you start to look for an escape route, a gate to the east opens. Several slith warriors stand on the other side, eager to enter and slay you. Another slith warrior walks up to the west gate. He is enormous, a full seven feet tall, much larger than any slith you've ever seen. He wears a golden torque and wields a spear a full seven feet long. He is all bone and muscle. This is the infamous lord of the barbarian slith Zarakai, Sithis. As you gawk at him, he raises his spear and says, Ah, humans! Here in my lair, I have been waiting for you, and now you comes. Now we fights, and I avenge the death of my brothers and sisters. You will duel warriors who begged me the right to fight you, to get the honor of your death this. He lowers his spear and steps back from the gate. His warriors begin to pour into the chamber. Okay, so this is the chieftain. He's going to be on this side, so we got a duel fight to worry about. Everything is all as buffed as it's going to get, I think, unless there's an extra buff over here. I don't think so. Is there a major... Oh, well, I could. Minor Shades of 15. And hers is Summon Shade. Okay, so we got a Shade out. It, it It's not going to do anything other than absorb damage, so... They're in a nice, beautiful line. Which is always convenient. Yeah, we're gonna get ambushed from behind if we line her, so we'll, we'll have them slightly separate. So I'm thinking... Flingers... 410 versus... Yeah, the extra 100 damage... Has some utility here. Oh, only one... Yeah, so we, we walked away some of the haste, which is unfortunate. We're gonna lock down that chieftain. down immediately. Hit him with another fireball. Now we are all at full level. Let's spend the points though. Now you will face a true foe. You will face those who risk all to make you a sacrifice. Who will feed on your hearts, take your power, and offer it up to the gods. Sithis shouts this, but his heart isn't in it. You doubt he is optimistic about their success. He steps back from the gate. It opens. Several shamans step into view. Only four shamans? I've got to say. I need to explore that back there, too. Can I reach that? Probably not. With eight. It's not happening. Same thing with you. And I think the best thing for here is rock the haste. And war chant. Yeah, throw down your blessing. Oh, take a shot. Okay, so maybe she could have taken one out. Oh, thank you. Oh, I got like a basically a free turn there. Oh no, no, no. Oh, beautiful cleave. Step up. Yeah, they're only worth our lightning. Oh, who else is there? Oh, she's got all the freaking... 
You stand among the carnage of the throne room. Your foes defeated, you look for Sithis. It is not hard to find him. He is sitting on his throne, watching you. You aren't sure how he was able to get there, with a blink spell, unobserved. Perhaps he was concealed there all along, hidden by illusions and misdirection. He does not speak, he only nods. He rises, steps forward, brandishes his spear, and adopts a battle pose. Does he have minions, though, or is it just straight up? Okay, that is very much doable. We're gonna, I'm just gonna assume cleave. So hopefully that is enough spread. And you are worth the mana, buddy boy. Oh, double fireball. That's pretty worthless, but appreciated, my undead foe. Maybe he'll attack him, you know, help us out. He didn't... Did he lose a turn? Because he didn't attack there. Unless this is a decoy or something. Sithis suddenly stops attacking. He bends his knee and turns his torso. He is clearly about to make a berserk swing, smashing everything nearby. Let's back off. Back off. Just let him make his swing. Take your swing! She may be in the crossfires, we shall see. Oh, no, what are you doing? You're about to get wrecked. It's just me shaking my head. <laughs> like, uh... Silly controls. Oh, yeah, just use your standard thing. Over here, you unfortunately have been duped into wasting your turn. Oh, is he gonna do it every turn? Oh, we got lost turnage. Losing turns. Okay, shouldn't need to heal just yet. Just hit him with the crits. Oh, more. They might be infinitely spawning for all I know. Yeah, just stab him in the back. And then you need to back the F off. Oh, are you ensnared? That's no good. Get our hasted back. You have managed to slay the strongest slith in all of Avernum, Sithis, leader of the barbarian sliths that have been rampaging through your land. Not all of the sliths are evil. With Sithis gone, it is possible that the kinder faction will gain strength. Even if they don't, the evil sliths have taken a grievous blow. You take the torque of leadership from his corpse as proof of your accomplishment. Bow before us. If you continue to fight, you will not be spared. Oh. Stuck. How many of these they got? Very nice. So, what do we pick up? We got a crude spear, a slip, oh, a broad spear. This is a new one. 89 to 356 on the base, but there's still no. Just plus six to critical hit chance. Yeah, as long as halberds exist, like, that's worth it. Oh, 
quick save. Got a button. You think there's a concealed control here, but you can't figure out how to get it to work. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, that's most interesting. Oh, that's how he, like, that's like his secret entrance in and out, maybe? Easily disarmed. To the treasure room. Call that treasure. I want something fancier. Like and vulnerability elixir. Take that. Another rod of sucker. Which is good. Wisdom crystal, which is now no longer needed. And this breastplate. Which is a piece of junk. And now this wisdom crystal, I believe, is technically a piece of junk as well. I will temporarily hold on to it myself in case there is additional levels. My understanding is 30 is the cap. So over this side. Yeah, we don't need mana, so there's potentially negative consequences of those, as we've seen in the past. Ooh. Oh, we got a baddie. What? Lil Bernie. That must be his pet. Well, it's gonna attack us. So, unfortunately, you must die. Fine slith, the goblet, some wine. Oh, there's more wine. And so let's see what this has to say. Thick book on this pedestal. Let's try to decipher it. These scrolls on the pedestal are all on religious topics. They form a variety of different faiths. Sithis must have had a contemplative side. One of the scrolls is in your tongue. It describes an interesting ritual. You can improve your knowledge of divine fire. You concentrate, try to memorize. With work, you gain more proficiency. That sounds like one of these divine retribution, restoration, divine host, divine, fi divine fire. So her divine fire. Might be... That's nah, still pretty crappy. Compared to my mage stuff. Uh, where's the... Lever for it. Or maybe there is no lever. It has to be the secret entrance. Oh wait, there's this too. It's this. A little energy elixir. Take that. Yeah, so this one, I thought there would be at least a third level for, like, the big bad. And they're gonna try to step us, eh? Is he standing on a flame? What's going on there? Well, that didn't work too, so great. Why would you do that? Why would one do that? Yes, I believe the boat is on that side. Immobile. Stand there while we do our worst. And away we go. I don't even care about potential loot he's got. So, I think I can I get... Um, the castle is... Huh. 
to be a way to access that. It looks... Uh, that's not... I gotta go around. Oop. Then this happens. I should probably visit the little slip town to see if there's any changes that occur over there. Here somewhere, if I remember right. For here, they're over there. What do you have to say? Are you going to be the new head honchos? Or is there, this probably just not even a dialogue option because this is not a quest or anything. I've slain Sithis. So we have heard. We bow to you, and we will ever honor your memories for slaying he who tormented us and darkened the good name of all Slytherakai. Your courage will never be forgotten. Anything else I can do? Fortunately, no. So we just got a little dialogue option there, and that's all we need. Just a little bit of appreciation. So let's inform King Mika of what's up. King Mika watches you. His old eyes have been damaged by long years. I have slain Sithis, the king of evil sliffs. Here is the torque that I have obtained from his very torso or neck or wherever you wear a torque. Yumika is truly impressed. Amazing! A mortal foe of Avernum, gone forever. We of Avernum are truly in your debt. He claps his hands and a large sack of coins is brought to you. Adventurers of your skill and strength are very useful. I regret to say that you must die, uh, that I don't have any other tasks for you at the moment. Perhaps soon I will. Until then, best of luck. Very good. So I've received 1,500 coins. Rep improved. It just coins. He didn't give me any, any goodies. Which is unfortunate. As you are about to leave, a soldier, wounded and wearing torn armor, staggers into the room. What's the odds? When he finally catches his breath, the words spit out. Fort Remote! Demons! They charged us from the east. Surprised us. Only I got away. Dozens of them. There was no hope. Guards take him away for food and healing. King Mika says, This is grave news indeed. Come back here and speak with me, adventurer. The people of Avernum seem to have a mission for you already. Uh, detail. Okay. You're the king. Is there anything you would like me to do now in light of the attack on Fort Remote? As a matter of fact, yes. Fort Remote is to the southwest of here. A short and unthreatening journey. Go there, investigate, and find out who attacked it. Come back and report to me when you know. And if the attacker is still there, that strikes me as unlikely. But if it turns out to be the case, I trust your judgment. You have earned that much. Yeah, should be able to take on just about anyone. So where... It's part of my stupid loreness. We have to have training out of town. To level up. A Patrick's Tower? I, I, that could work. To receive our final magical trick. I like that. I like that. That sounds good to me. This is the type of training you can't get in any city. Okay. Let us do the final level up. Reduce your chance of being hit. 
Here's your chance to hit engage melee and able to wear heavy armor. I don't really need it's not an issue. And those are maxed out. Blade Master is maxed out. So all I can do I do this. Does this actually give me percentage? Increases both damage done and your chance to hit by 1%. 2% chance to evade. Up my two hit and my heart are Hardiness. Damage you take, or an extra 2% to evade enemy attacks. Oh, you can't increase, so I have to have ranged attacks, so okay. So melee has that. That's just how it is. Oh, I want a higher backstab. Or better fortune. Better lockout, or just not make them exist. Which could be really cool. Double master. Let me do mighty blow. It might be stat based or something. Damage with melee attacks. Like I can't do an improved dex. So it might be class based as well. So it must be mighty blows. And then we have. It says, it says I can get to 30k here. So. Maybe I can get another level. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That. And she has reached strength 30. That can still go up. Those can't go up. So, those go up. Yeah, just go crazy with strength. That's her shtick. Other than health and endurance. Yeah, no questions there. Magical efficiency. Okay, those are all maxed, which is just fine. Up the spell. Just even more intelligence. I say so. And then you, of course, Dex. And... But is there any reason for me to upgrade priestly spells for you? You need a higher priest level of 15. You're currently at 13. Yeah, so that's a waste of time. Oh, magical efficiency? Get at least one magical efficiency. Oh, but I could max out those that when that's on the table. What else are you gonna do? Fortune Dead Eye Shiram. Increase the blast. The heal's already up there. Let's give you some fortune. I like it. Alright, so we are as beefy as we can get. Without more training, that'll... So we can hunt around for training. So we're gonna have to solve this little mystery here. Okay, we've got a little hole in the wall there. Doesn't look too bad from this side. Oh, actually, no, there's a boulder there instead of a wall. It's not so great. You stand outside the ruins of Fort Remote. This fort has actually this fort has been attacked viciously and recently. Actually, attack doesn't seem the right word. Devastated is more accurate. Magical fire has shattered the walls and melted the stone. The front wall has been shattered by three powerful fiery blows. You can still smell smoke. Bodies are spread out in a gruesome display to the north. Whatever happened here, it was unstoppable and unquestionably lethal. Inside the fort you can see a ring of glowing green runes. As you watch, they pulse gently. They are recent creations, unmarred by grime and ash. You might bear investigating. Could be traps. The former inhabitants of this fort are to the north. Their bodies were left impaled on the smaller stalagmites. You can't look at them for long. They die horribly. But we can certainly take their shit. Yoink. I think I'm 
this this one. Pretty decent shield just chilling there. Hakai Shade. Shower girl. Someone had the good sense to lock himself in this room when the fort was attacked. Then something punched a hole in the west wall and sent a gout of magical flame into the room. Not even the mold survived. Oof. We won't, don't want to be rude going through the door. Oh, there's a demon chilling there. Ghost. These were once two beautiful freshwater springs. The attackers of the fort have befouled them. A rank smell rises from the water, and twisted toadstools grow all around. Like a random pair of pants. I'm gonna have a chat with that ghost first. Oh, wait, is there more back there? The shade of a young woman cowers pathetically in the corner. She is curled up on the floor and whimpering. At first, you don't think she realizes that you are here. Then she looks up to you. What happened here? Protect me! From who? From the demons! They aren't any demons around. She emits a scream a long, piteous, terrified screech. They wouldn't stop. We saw them coming. We had time. We were prepared, but they blew down the walls. What could we do? Then the killings. How was everyone killed? She stops. Poor, poor Mick. All of us. We couldn't fight to the death. They fight to the death. They froze them. They took them out. And oh, the things they did. But I was safe. How did you stay safe? I hid here. They didn't see me. So I could kill myself instead of them killing me. I'm so cold. Help me. Please help me. Okay, I'll do what I can. Help me, as you watch, she slowly starts to fade away. Wait, don't go! Please help! And she disappeared. You've got some explaining to do, you Hakai Shade. The demonic Shade whispers, Closer, come closer. You see in the middle of the strange rune circle, a glowing red haze. When you step forward to get a closer look, it suddenly expands into the image of a demon, twice your height. It looks down at you and laughs. Oh, this is a treat. I've been waiting for mortals to come here so that I could use them as messengers. They could tell you humans of your doom, but then I get you. The slayer of my servant, Sithis, was my personal pet, and now he is gone. Hear me now, you insects, you puny negligible things. I am Grahoth. I come back. I strike from my prison, and I will have my revenge on you, all of you. There is no appeal. There is no defense. There is no hope. But none of that applies to you. Someone else will take the message back. You are about to die. Before you go, what do you have to say in hope of mercy? Um, faceless worms, let me fight fairly, run away quickly. Please have mercy on me, please let me go. It's like, faceless worms, so that we may fight you fairly. For honor. Grahoth laughs at your challenge and disappears. You hear a deep rumbling sound coming from all around. This does not look good. Uh... That's... Yeah, we we faced down worse. If we're honest, he almost got insta-wrecked there. Now from the ranges, I think. Yeah, these guys they'll take a turn to get to us. He's gonna hit us with the fire. Baylor, that that's. <gasps> They've got heels. Right, you're here. No mercy for you. And f they're probably immune to fire, so... Good shot. Oh, I need to be buffing, is what I need to be doing here, so... Okay, our initial buff. Okay, our backside might be clear. The, sh the 
flavoring. I don't think they're that tough. But that's my best bet. Oh, you're taking. Oh, they missed. Shield chant five, six. Okay, so it, it is different for everybody. More blessing. I'm not too worried about the misses all that much. They're all point blank. Fiery, good. Stab going on. Yeah, we don't know that fireball is a safe one, but everyone but the cave demon. There. Oh, he just magically survived that. Hit him again. Why not? Beautiful. Let's throw down the mass heal. We can still send one arrow to that guy. He's just far enough away. Very good. Yes, yeah, so you just hold the line against the big guy. Just gotta hope that none are immune to this. Uh, and if I could just place it. Alright, your minions are defeated, Balor. Oh, he's got an extra attack. Slightly confused, so 245. 300, 400. Don't be me into fire, please. Thank you. And do you have the pleasure? You do. Ooh, a flaming sword. And an armor ring, which... More of the armor ring. So we already have one. Six of the two evade. Curse resists. Kind of same level. Six with two evade. Six with better stuff. Six with better stuff. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so the armor ring is actually kind of crappy, really. Um, two ninety-four. Oh, but it doesn't have all that good stuff on there. Venomous. Flaming versus Venomous. 66. Okay, not as good. Frozen versus Flaming. Flaming does 160. Okay, Flaming Sword kind of sucks. You'd think the Flaming Sword would be something a little more special. And we can sell it for some. Training sessions. Otherwise. Alright, so there's no reason for us to go further than that. Taking out those dudes. So we'll have to go back to the castle and. Oh. I don't know who it is. Let's fight them. Oh, rogue warriors. This isn't going to go well for you. Okay, we even survived that. No. You meet a patrol room, soldiers watching the area. Go look with you. Oh wait, Fort Remote to the southwest. Has been destroyed by demons, most likely. We're still watching these roads, but we're under orders to flee back to the castle the moment we see anything. Good luck to you. We don't want to linger anywhere. He shakes his head. They depart. Yeah, so Sithis is just the tip of the iceberg.
I've been to Fort Remote. We know who destroyed it. It was something named Grahoth. King Mika looks stricken after receiving this news. This is what I was afraid of. He looks up to, at you. I wasn't sure why the fates brought you to me. Now I know. Grahoth is mis a, a mighty demon. Once we imprisoned him, now he is breaking free. You must kill him. If you do, you will be rewarded with all the influence I have the power to give you. If nobody kills him, all of Avernum may be lost. I charge you with this holy quest. May the spirits protect Avernum if the threat is not removed. Tell me, who is he? When humans first arrived in Avernum, Grahoth was already here. He is a duke of the Dark Realms, but for reasons we never determined, he lived in our world. For Avernum to be ours, we had to fight him. Who fought? An army of warriors and mages, led by Rone, the royal magician, Linda Solberg, and most powerful of all, the Incantrixa uh, Erika. They, their apprentices, and our finest warriors did battle with the demons. We won and imprisoned Grahoth. Why was he not killed? We lacked the power. We had only recently arrived in Avernum, and we all but had a fraction of the strength we were accustomed to. It was only with great luck and a clever trap laid by our wizards that we were even able to trick the creature into its prison. Don't you have the power to kill him now? If we were all united and possessing the strength of our youth, maybe. But Rone is old. Erika has exiled herself. The wizards are of the triad are separated, distracted, and perhaps not entirely sane. It is humiliating, plain and simple, but we can no longer do what we once did. Where can I find him? Grahoth is where we placed him, in a magical prison in Skaragath, a hidden tower in the caves far to the west. His prison is flawed, though. He can summon demons to attack us, though he is trapped. To deal with Grahoth, first find Skaragath. Will I able to get through? Is it trapped? There are traps. And the entrance was barred. I haven't sent envoys to open the gates into Skaragath. They won't, however, be able to remove the traps. They were created by Erika, the Incantrix, and she never shared the secrets with us. You can get in, but then you will be on your own. Alright, let's put it on our map right there. That is release Grahoth, so you can fight him. We also have the... that's the Slay the Emperor. We've got to deal with saving Avernum before we can seek revenge. Okay, so I think we need to get our selling on. And this place is the place to go. The closest one at least. I want to sell something, so let's sell all in the bag. Got another couple fowl. I'm not entirely sure about this wisdom crystal situation, so I'll probably just use it at some point. But I'm going to hold on to it. And this is just gymnastics or blade master or toughness, right? Uh, pull improved blade master. Okay, so she's got blade master. She doesn't need it. And he's double improved so we are done with that training now potentially Braga Inspire and Freehold may have trainers I don't remember exactly let's head on in Apothecary supply shop and smithy. Oh, we actually could fight in here. We're pretty powerful, so it might be something to go for.
give the old quick save first. I want to enter the games. Your decision. I respect your right. Wait. I want to enter the games. Good. Walk through the open gate. Once you've safe inside, we'll let out some monsters. Okay, it just took a, a second for it to activate. We don't know exactly what we'll face, but do the usual do haste the last. Oh, wait, you should be casting those. The, the battle begins, so then with the battle beginning, haste it. We've got a champion Newman, champion oh, we're facing the champions. Well. Neko. I think uh, she looks like the biggest threat to me. Oh, that's nasty. And then we have you locked down. Or maybe just ignore them. They look tough. Get locked down. Oh, he's resistant. Oh, she, okay, I thought she was down more than it looked. Uh, no one got charmed there. Good. Good, good, good. His actual dam- Oh, I won't- There's too many bonuses. Let me know what the damage is. Let's get the power rush a, a shot. Good, they didn't get damaged. That would have sucked. Oh my. Lots of options there. She's not immobilized or anything. Good. Good, good, good. Now they're all right where I want them. My fireball. Oh, got missed. Yeah, I think one more before they reactivate. Heal is a potential. We gotta be thinking about this Bejar heal. Vengeful Shade. Mm, pathetic. Turns remaining so I can wait one turn. I think. Oh, so close. Alright. Shall we focus towards the healer? Hmm. Right now is the time. Oh, that's bad. He's gonna need to quaff a potion to make up for my mistakes at life. But this can continue. Got all the mana in the world. And you know what? Well, protection always helps. And we could have gotten an extra attack. So it kind of helps me in a way. See them with the fire. So close now. The double, I think it's over for Neko. And play it safe with the mass cure. Four turns, three turns, three. She's a little low on him, but I don't care that much about that. Let's start putting some attention over here. Been getting away with this for too long. There goes your minion. Oh, 
So oh, interesting. Did like a little bit of a move thing. She's got the ensnare. Unfortunately, so gotta go for the razor disc. Redo haste now. Oh, actually, she should have gone melee at that point. Yeah, let's just team up over here. So close. We have something to give you. A lot of battle. Sucker. It's healing. And snare. I can do that at least. Cold dragon's ice. Terrification. Stun. I didn't try it. They resisted, so I mean though in theory. Kind of webs. It's possible for them to be ensnared. Do the AA, the quick attack. Fine destruction. You are victorious in your battle. The spectators, their bloodlust temporarily slacked, slowly file out. A gate opens in the west wall, enabling you to exit. There's actually goodies this time. What charmed plate? Twenty eight verse thirty four, not as good, but you know, it's still very worthwhile for selling. There is an ogre standing by the gate. You go through the arena. You, oh, I didn't actually click on him, but arena. I'm not paid to talk. I got something to say to you. Anyways, I got 300 coins. Either way. Now they were labeled as the champions. Now I use half my mana to do that, so I don't actually. I just want to see if there's another fight. I want to enter the games. You've killed all the monsters we have. There's nothing more you can do here. Not until we can find some new prey. Alright. So we are now the arena champions. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's fine. So they don't have a trainer specifically here. Oh. What else have we got going on? We could be headed towards the uh, the dragon if we want Pirog. Do those. Elizabeth and a mage at Fort Emerald. He gave you a message delivered to someone named Elizabeth. She lives in. Okay, I could never find her. B series seems bugged. Uh, works of mage raises monies, fangs or monies, that I decided not to kill him. Yeah, so it's really just, wait, a release and destroy.
Then we have to worry about slaying the Emperor, escaping the underworld, all sorts of good stuff. Oh, do we have a, a store? That's what we could use over here, though. Yeah, any of these that don't do much damage. And snare doesn't really work. Sucker's pretty good. Stunned could be effective. Just cold damage. Who cares? Meh. And then. Oh, the junk bag is not as filled with goodies as it typically is. I am thinking of taking on the dragon. And since we're close to the end, I think we should do this in the next episode. So catch y'all then.